Uh, hello everybody, today we're going to be going over a probabilities problem at the IB Man Studies level. So, the problem tells us that Sung Wan is playing a game where she rolls a dice and she rolls a spinner. And then she adds up the number of the dice and the number that comes out on the spinner and that is her score. So, for example, if she rolls 1 on the die and 2 on the spinner, the score will be 3. If it's 4 on the die and 4 on the spinner, the score would be 8. And they give us this diagram. So, before I even go into part A, just looking at all the parts, part A, B, and C, they all ask me for um, when the score is greater than 4. And so we can play around with this diagram a little bit to see when uh, the score is greater than 4. Because right now with the, with the points, it's not as intuitive. But even here we write 1 plus 1 is 2, 1 plus 2 is 3, and so on and so forth until I fill up all of the, the whole diagram it's gonna make this problem a lot easier so that's that's the first step is simplifying and making use of the diagram okay and now that the diagram has been like I don't know revamped or so to say it's much easier to see when the score is gonna be greater than 4 so what we're looking for are for scores greater than 4, which is going to be 5, 6, 7, anything above that, right? Up until 10. So we can cross off this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and we end up with all of these options, right? So now it's a lot easier to see the probability of, of the scores being greater than 4. So first things first, how many possibilities are there? Well, if we do 4 times 6, there's going to be 24 squares in between, right? There's going to be 24 possibilities. And so out of 24 total, there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There's 18 options where the score is greater than 4, right? And if we simplify this, we end up with 3 over 4. So that is a 75% probability that this score is greater than 4, right? So that is part A. Okay, part B is asking for the scores being greater than 4 on both of her first two turns. Um, so in this scenario, we're going to have, let's remember that 75% is 3 over 4. So we do 3 over 4 times 3 over 4. That's going to give us 9 over 16. And that is the answer. OK, and every time you calculate the probability of two events happening in a row, you're always going to multiply them. OK, and for the last part, it tells us that Sung Wan is playing the game for 11 turns. And to find the expected number of times, the score in a turn is greater than 4. So. We know that for one turn, so that the score is greater than 4, it is 75%, or 3 over 4. So, in 11 turns, we simply have to multiply this by 3 over 4. This is going to give us 33 divided by 4, which is good enough for the answer. Do not confuse this with doing 3 over 4 times 3 over 4. 11 times, okay? What you would be doing here is figuring out the probability that the score is greater than 4 all 11 times, which is different than the expected amount of times that you will get 3 over 4. And so here, 33 over 4, I know it looks kind of weird, but if you simplify it, you get 2, you get 2, 8.25. So, of the 11 times, there's going to be roughly 8 times where the score is greater than 4. I think one of the hardest parts of this problem is like making use of the diagram the right way, which is, well, which is why I suggest that you upgrade the diagrams that they give you sometimes, and also putting the lines in order to count the cubes. To see the amount of outcomes is also very helpful, okay? It's also good to read ahead and notice that they're all asking for the sum being, I mean, 
with the score being greater than 4. So then you can immediately play with your diagram and make it easier and also much faster to solve this problem. So whenever you get a diagram, make sure you use it well and play around with it if you can.